left Bahia de Caracas once again to sail the 60 miles down south to Isa de la Plata. Our friend Annika joined us on this pretty uncomfortable ride against the wind and against the Humboldt Current. The Humboldt Current, named after the famous Berliner Alexander Humboldt, is, depending on the season, a pretty strong current that's starting in the Antarctic and comes all the way up the coast of South America to Ecuador and even further north up until Central America. Because of the cold water that it brings up, we had to bust out our 7 mile wetsuit for the very first time on this voyage. What you doing, Kimmy? Almost got killed by James. He tried to put me in here and out. Yeah, he almost... How do you say that? Strangled you. He put soap in there, so it's like an instant shower. I'm washing so it's, myself. It's a little really. shiny. Okay, put your hood on. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think there's a little overkill. Yeah, well, it's pretty cold in there. I like your hair puff. <laughs> you look like some kind of rock star. I'm not sure what this is for. You're very camouflaged. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. I can't turn my head. Look. This is your first time using this suit, right? Yeah. This is my suit. Like a big turtle. Saying that this wetsuit was stifling would be a huge understatement. <laughs> <laughs> You're not oh. sinking. I don't even touch the water. It's amazing. About to go and scrub the bottom. Let's see uh, what the bottom looks like after three months in Ecuador. Reason number one that we fought wind and waves to come down here to Isla de la Plata also named the poor man's Galapagos by the people living here in Ecuador was that we wanted to clean the bottom and what was meant as a fairly quick stop and uh, how for a chore before we could finally play and explore the coast of Ecuador ended up taking up quite a lot of time in our schedule And if you guys have never scrubbed the bottom of a boat, this is pretty much the equivalent of mowing your lawn. Now, from my experience, I can tell you that this is one of the few moments where you actually appreciate not having a mega yard. Well, at least we had good company. So it's day two at Isla de la Plata. We still haven't been able to go ashore because the rangers told us that we just can't, we're not allowed to snorkel, we can only swim around our own boat, but we have done a lot of that because the boat had kind of a forest underneath it, so we've been scrubbing it pretty hard. Uh, especially Kim, she had a really awesome warm wetsuit and was on it for several hours getting the fluff off. And so we got our arm workout. The fishermen have anchored, or anchored, they have been tied themselves to our boat right in the stern, right where our bathroom is. So we get a, an audience when we take a shit, which is great. I was trying to talk my way onto a, um, to get a guided tour of the island, because you need to go with a guide and uh, Ecuadorian administration, I don't know. So here we are still on the boat or in the water with the turtles. Oh, they're so cute. 
and eating really well. We've been making crepes, pancakes, tacos, and now it's rice and veggies. What is your verdict about uh, bottom pain? Uh, I think it's okay, but I don't know. We'll have to wait for another month. What do you mean, wait for another month? We're gonna have to see what grows back and how difficult it is to get off. I really like that paint, actually. It's pretty easy to clean, but we're gonna have to see if it's still there in a month. We might have just scraped it all off, I'm not sure. And she almost got eaten by a turtle. I almost got eaten by a turtle, that's right. That's a first. So yeah, our neighbors the last days have been the fishermen. They were tying up to the back of us some. Some over there on another buoy. And over there with a the big boat of you. They're obviously not fishing here because it's a national park, but they come here to rest because it's the the island provides a nice shelter from the swell and the wind. So it's where they come to sleep and to cook and to listen to music. It seems. Yep. James is getting us ready right now to leave. I think I went with a tour on the island to see a bunch of birds. Boobies. Boobies. So behind our boat all the fishermen are coming back in in the morning. They've been out all night and they're cleaning their equipment and then they, they join up in a big chain so I've got like five boats behind me. Uh, unfortunately we have to leave so we have to kind of help them get, get secured on the buoy. Yeah. We just left Isla de la Plata, which means Island of the Silver. And we dropped Annika off with the rangers this morning. We are headed to Puerto Lopez, but there's an island right next to Puerto Lopez called la, 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 la. Salango. Salango. And we've decided that we're going there after Puerto Lopez. So we're gonna go to Puerto Lopez and then go to Salango for like the rest of the week. Well, now that we cleaned the bottom, we're doing like averaging seven, seven and a half knots. What? Three days of warp, though. Dude, yes. I hate going slow. This is the island I'm talking about, right there, right there. Now you can see it. That's the island we want to go to, and Puerto Lopez is right here. It's good. We're almost there. Sweet. That didn't take long. 20 miles in about two and a half hours. Instead of anchoring, James decided we were gonna stay in a mooring because a guy offered us a mooring for 10 bucks a night. And that's what we do between all those boats. Are you gay? Okay. So those guys are helping us out, both of them, too. So we can have one line in the front and one mooring in the back. It's very nice because anchoring here would have been a shit show. Ah, yeah, okay. Hi. Um, okay, so it's seguro aquí. Seguro dos boyas. Ah, no hay bueno. problema. Uh -huh. No vas a chocar. No vas a chocar. Tranquilo, no más. Seguro, seguro aquí. Dos. A esto le llamamos piedras grandes. Okay. Muertos le llamamos aquí. Son, no son muertos. No, sino que son piedras. Okay. Seguro, seguro y seguro allá. Ves, mira. Ves. Yeah. Ah, bueno, mano. Aquí está el muelle. Okay. No te bueno, aquí, perfecto. Aquí el muelle. Necesito cinco minutos por mi barco. Ya, listo, alístate, arréglate. Ángel. Gracias. Yeah. Okay. Mano, ya, muchas quiero, gracias. Okay. Ah, little manos. Come on, bienvenido. 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 <laughs> bienvenido por tu nombre. Ah, gracias. Me encanta tu país, mano. <laughs> So guess who we ran into? 
And look what she made us buy. I was so excited. This is made of alpaca. It is. And it's super soft. Mm -hmm. I want to make love to it. It's the best thing you ever bought in your life. <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> I have one of these that I've been wearing for six years straight. Yeah. Like, no kidding. And I need new, new ones. And they sell Panama hats here. How do I look with the Panama hat on? You look very Panama. I really, I, no, no, I like, I like the Michael Jackson look. Smooth criminal. Dun, 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 dun. I, I think it's better that way. Okay. That's fine. All right. Are we done? Can we go eat now? I didn't start yet. This oh one too. This is a dangerous shot.